private tasting of our 2006 Cabernet Sauvignon. Well, you'll notice that our Cabernet is a very low alcohol level. It's designed to be complementary to the food presented on the table. It's not designed to overpower it like so many other Cabernets are. It's a, it's a far more feminine Cabernet made in that great Bordeaux tradition. I can understand that. You may have known, obviously you're very aware of your surroundings, and it probably was reminiscent of Halloween. Just that's, a little? That's by design. In fact, I brought you here to give you something. <laughs> this is very special. Hmm. This is our invitation to our annual Jordan Wine Industry Halloween party. This year, it is a glen, the, the Glampire Ball. Glampire Ball. And the invitation comes in a coffin. This is a first, John. Well, I'm glad to see this is what it was about because I was starting to think that you were a creep. All right, hold that for me because if you get out of line, I may have to use that cross to kill the vampire. The Glampire Ball. John Jordan requests your presence at the Jordan Glampire Ball. On Saturday, the 23rd of October, 2010 at 7.30 in the evening at the Jordan Estate in Healdsburg, California. Libations preceding decadent dinner reception, wicked dancing under a waning moon. Did you write this, John? Costumes encouraged, blood <laughs> required. <laughs> you sing Jordan by day, now experience Jordan by night. Well, I see that I'm getting a preview of Jordan by night. And um, I'm very privileged to have that preview in this private room that I'm sure very few people get, get this treatment. And on your cross is a video that we made about Jordan by day and Jordan by night to get you in the mood. And that's actually a USB drive. Check that out. That's pretty cool. So tell me about this whole Glampire thing, John. I mean, what is it about? Is this a, a first or, you know? No, it's not a uh, charity. Halloween, since boyhood, has been my favorite holiday. I enjoyed it as a child, and I'm enjoying it into my middle adulthood. <laughs> and it's something that I wanted to, to share and make a part of our culture here at the winery. Now, Halloween also marks, more or less, the end of harvest right. uh, for, for those of us in the wine business. So every year, um, we have a Halloween party. Every year, there's a different theme. And this year is Glampire, Glamorous Vampires. I love it. I love it. I could be one of those. Can anyone buy tickets to this amazing event? What is the process of that? No, it's not, a, it's not open to the public. It's a private event. Mm. It's something we do every year. Um, Jordan is a smaller family-owned company. Uh, we have to be very creative in how we do our storytelling and a lot of our, our sales and marketing. And so how we do it is we like to do it in context um, with a lot of fun people having a good time. So it's a relationship, it's an opportunity for us to connect and reconnect with some of the best sommeliers throughout the country, or certainly our wholesaler partners, as well as press. How fabulous. And so it's the main event. A lot of wineries or, or different businesses will do their huge event at Christmas. But because Halloween has always been your favorite time of the year, your favorite occasion, you make it instead at Halloween. So I everyone do. looks forward to it, I assume. And the people in the trade look forward to it. It's, it's developed quite a following. We have people coming from Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, Las Vegas, Chicago, Florida. So it's, it's attracted people from around the country. Everybody knows now. A lot of people know in the industry. It's always the Saturday before Halloween. Wow. So, okay, everything that we're seeing here is the actual occasion as mysterious and spooky as this? Yes. Yeah? Every bit. Even more so? Probably. You'll have to see for yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will. I have my invitation. Yeah. So, John, then 
what happens every year? Do people kind of, I assume since you change the theme every year, people are really anxiously waiting to find out every year what the big reveal is with the theme, right? Yeah, they do. And during the year, we have so many you know, visitors from the trade, sommeliers and wholesalers, and they're trying to pump me and the staff for what this next year's theme is because it's always, it's a state secret. But the Halloween, before the invitations go out, it's regarded as a state secret. We need to keep it as classified information here internally. All right. Until the reveal, which is the mailing of the invites. That's so cool. Well, I feel especially privileged because I got my invite personally from you, John. So well, thank you for doing it in this really extra spooky way. Now, tell me a little bit about what will actually happen the night of the event. Well, it's, uh, it's done here in the winery. The winery transforms itself into a setting appropriate for a Glampire Ball. We're fortunate to have a lot of very talented people here that are able to make the winery successfully undergo that, trans that transformation. Uh, it's an evening of past hors d'oeuvres, dancing, formal cigar service, and a few little surprises that I'm not going to give away right Even now. more, not even in this private room Absolutely where no one's not. hearing. Oh, wait, there's, there's a camera. There's a camera crew. <laughs> <That's Yeah. you. laughs> well, they'll leave, Johnny. You can tell me all your secrets. A lot of love and care goes into scaring people around here. It I does, <laughs> as, much as, as much as goes into our Cabernet and Chardonnay. <laughs> and I'm sure much, much of that Cabernet and Chardonnay that makes Jordan Winery famous is going to be poured at the event. So a little bit, yes. Sounds fabulous. Well, I hope to be able to make it. It sounds like something that shouldn't be missed. No, we look forward to it, Jerry. Come if you dare. <laughs>